What's up everyone? Jordan Midlands here with another MJRL Humpsa video. Hit that subscribe button so that you know when it's time to check out all the amazing stuff that Uncle Matt picked up from Japan. Here's the thing, when when Matt goes to Japan, and the, the Matt and Lance both went and I I'm I couldn't get enough leave to go along with them. That was my goal. Um, also because, you know, the Walking Gundam is supposed to have closed March 31st of this year, but they extended it another year, so nice. I'm safe. I, no, he's not. It, anyway, um, he goes crazy. Uncle Matt goes crazy when he buys these things, and he, he only goes up with a backpack, but ends up coming home with two extra suitcases. And he buys his suitcases so he can bring... He buys suitcases up there so he can bring them stuff home. Yeah. And, and then now there he has extra suitcases. And then he also forgets what he bought. So it's like another it Christmas. Was, it was not stop because we were going all over the place and we were going from like eight in the morning to like ten at night every night. So uh, eating, sightseeing, and when we went into stores, we just we just went at it. So. Your wallets exploded. Yeah, no, it was good. The yen rate is good. The exchange rate is good. Walking on them was was just mind blowing in a in a weird way. But also because it was been open for two years and it was gonna close. I sent him a shot, a Photoshop. Maybe I can send it to him. Maybe he can put it in this video. I'm not sure. But 75% of the stuff that's at the Yokohama Gundam store that's like exclusive to it was all sold out. And they're like, we're never bringing it back. So I don't know what they're going to sell this next year that they've extended it to. Because I don't think they're reprinting any of no, it. No, they might. They might. And then they had a special glass too uh, for like a tapioca drink that looked like... What's that little ball guy? Uh, that ball? Huddle. Huddle. Yeah, it's like a huddle tapioca drink container thing. And they were like, we're out. Sorry. We, we tried a bunch of other the Gundam uh, cafe food, but that one they were like, yeah, we're out. The last video we did on opening Uncle Matt's suitcases, it was sealed for a year, and we found Gundam, <laughs> Gundam crackers that, or cookies or something. I think I so tried one. We're lucky that, you know, it's only been a few weeks, or not even a week since they've get, been back. So let's check it out. Oh, from the Anime Con. So we went to Toho's, uh, we went to a Japan Anime, um, Japan Anime 2023, and we came back with some cool shit. Oh, that's for oh, That's cool. I'm taking that. Like no, that. It, it was for you. That okay. is your gift. Hey, you're not right. supposed to say that. What if I wanted to keep it and I changed my mind? Oh. I, I kept it cats so. alive while you were away. So that I, belongs to me. So I, I liked it so much. <laughs> oh. Is that from the? Cool. Is that? Oh, that's from the 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 Common Rider Evangelion Cafe. We went to twice. We went to two times in a row. This Evangelion Common Rider Cafe. Cause it I was wanted, like a weird. I wanted all up. this crap. But I think it's because uh, Toy does the animation now owns the animation rights to Evangelion, Evangelion. and then Toy of course owns the rights to Kamen Rider of course right so but Toho Cinemas uh, you, you guys went last time it said it's a giant uh, movie theater that is owned by the Toho movie company who's most famous for making the Godzilla movies and there's a giant uh, there's a giant Godzilla head at the top to scale. It's crazy. It's wild crazy. So we went to a Capcom cafe and I bought these little towels. Yeah. Movies. So that was my least favorite food. We went to five different cafes. My least favorite was the Mega Man, uh, Mega Man collab cafe we went to. But the new Mega Man game they were promoting at the at the cafe collaboration looks cool. I think it comes uh, I out this month. You can probably show this later though. Yeah. These are like Fate Stay Night stuff that we we got at um, anime, uh, Japan Anime 2023. <laughs> Yeah, pretty, pretty amazing. mind blowing con. You now every con art looks art like posters. garbage. I actually bought two because I thought maybe I can sell one or. I, I can't describe it because you never seen it. I'm, I I people probably posted videos online, but there's like 30 foot screens, LCD screens Davis just Thor. showing anime. It's just wild. I bought a new bag. Oh yeah, it was a funny story about the Evangelion store. What 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 prefecture was this in? Uh, Shibuya. Shinjuku. No no. Oh, Shibuya. Shibuya. Funny thing, we went to the we were trying to find it on the uh, phone through Google Maps. So finally, I asked the uh, this lady working at the beauty store counter below, and I was like, "Oh, Evangelion store?" And she was her and her her coworker trying to find it for us. It ended up being in the same building on the sixth floor. But what she says to me is like, "Is that is that anime?" And then she goes, "You you come to." Japan for anime? She asked me. I was like, oh, oh, easy, easy. No judgment here, Auntie. What's going on? I bought a, a jacket. I didn't know you bought a jacket, too. I know you bought a $500 you know, I forgot, watch. I forgot I bought this, too. Yeah, I did buy a $500 watch. Where is it? Is it in here? It's I, got I, a... I think it's in that bag over there. I kept all my watches together in my uh, 
my carry on because he bought a five hundred dollar Evangelion watch. I didn't want one of five watches he bought on this trip. Oh, and I I did buy one thing at the Gundam store because I've been freaking looking for this. Everywhere. Oh, this one's the Diver City, right? We went to yeah, Diver City. Yeah, we went City. to Diver City. Uh, they closed Ooh. the bottom I store. I found it. Yep, pink one. I've been looking for this Lux Klein one forever. Yeah, like they had a, a um. You know the Diver City. He was telling me at the bottom they had like a Gundam lab at the bottom floor. It was closed, but the main Gundam base at the top was just wow. Oh, this I want. Lance won this for me at the at the. They had this giant gashapon machine that people lined up, and you had one turn, and the most it was like a free mask was the regular price, but there was a gold gashapon, and I won it on the turn and they clap for you and I was like oh what's my fries thinking it was like super like it was gonna be super like awesome and it was just a pat labor bag free pat labor bag and then we got a ton of bags at okay home. so my wife went with us so good thing too because uh, when you walk around so the anime conventions in Japan is different from the ones here because there's only really one like place selling things it was basically every major anime company had big areas where they were previewing what was coming out that year and they were giving out free stuff so every time we walk by some place Matt's like grab one grab one so he'll grab one my wife would grab one and I would grab one like, here we go we just like drop it in his bag and at the end his bag was 50 to 60 pounds it was this giant G.I. Joe bag he just had loaded it with all his free loot and he's like this is so heavy he's like stop putting things in there I was like I'm not carrying it for this whole con you yeah. want these things? I'm just putting them in your bag. He's like, stop. It's, it's so heavy. I was like, no. This is what you want. Free stickers. stuff? No, I bought these. And oh, this is for the Capcom Cafe. Those coasters or whatever. Oh, that's from the Jujutsu Kaisen Cafe. Yeah, so we went to, also went to the Jujutsu Kaisen like upscale sushi cafe, which was a weird. Because all the other cafes were like hamburgers and regular food. The Jujutsu Kaisen one in Universal Japan was like high grade omakase like $50 plates it was very uh, like an odd thing <laughs> but it was it was very interesting that was your first time in Japan yeah yeah Ooh. Well, we're going again in September uh, and these are the free pins so we saw this uh, at the end they had like a Super Mario Brothers movie booth where they previewed the movie and the Japanese voice actors from Mario and Luigi did like an intro I couldn't understand Japanese, but when you're done, they exited. They gave you free pins, and it's like just small pins of all the uh, all the characters, like Bowser, um, Princess, and uh, oh no, not Bowser, Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Princess. We ended up giving uh, me and my wife gave ours to her, his, her niece and nephew. Rocks in the I had to get this. It's like an exclusive thing at the uh, convention. Are these more inserts from the convention? Yeah, yeah they're all just posted. We ended up throwing away like 25% of all the stuff they were trying to give us. Some Sadly, yeah. Some of it was, was just like That's random cool. stuff. That's how many drinks I got at that place. <laughs> at the, is that the Evangelion one? Oh yeah, yeah. You, you got a random selection. Are those the stickers? I did not open these yet. Oh. These are, I had to buy these at the Evangelion store. These are like random like oh, random sticker thing. things. Yeah, so you Jeff got Mike like a purchase. card. So we had to go two days in a row because they gave him like a card that if you go back, you can buy exclusive stickers by going back. Where did that spoon come from? Uh, the MS store that we went to. The Gundam this is store? Like this, yeah, this is the 8th MS EF staff. So I, if, you're, I, if you're a Federation person, you would eat with that spoon? Yeah, <laughs> basically. That's, that's odd. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, lots of cool stickers. Can I open these or open these another time? No, no. Okay. Alright. We're just trying to get through the giant hall. What? Wow, bunny slippers! Where is that even from? This is Monster. from Monster Hunter. Oh. This is from the Capcom store oh. that we Capcom ate at the store. Capcom Cafe yeah. next day. Is that the, the Pokemon store? On our last day at the Yokohama Pokemon store. So we saw two Pokemon stores. I'm probably gonna sell this because I really I don't need this. There was one in, uh, one in Osaka and one in Yokohama and it was picked clean I tried to take some pictures like the shelves there was like one side on one shelf there everything was hammered and it wasn't tourists it was all these Japanese it was the lines were super long and the Japanese people were just buying the shit out of all these Pokemon these Pokemon stores did you get an excellent it's price on that I got a really good price on this that's why I bought it nice 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 like I for years I used to try and tell my ex killer still to dress up as this but she wanted to dress up as Cosmos instead of Talos is this from Akihabara or is yeah. it yeah. it's all from Akihabara 
because we found on the last day, Yokohama. Here's a tip. Well, I don't know if I should say it a lot. About where to find the cheap stuff we found on the last day match, we should say. I spent money on this one, but I thought it was so cool. Should we say where we found the good spot on the last day? I get out of Okay, so right below the Yokohama uh, Pokemon store, there was like a giant store that looked like a book off, and they had all the cheap stuff that we were look that Matt was looking for. But he had already bought everything. What is this from? Akihabara. This was from Akihabara. I don't even see why that. Yeah. Nice. That's a shopping ninja. Oh, sorry, it's from Mandarake. Oh, when we went in the Mandarake. So it's a Mandarake in Akihabara. Yeah, so we. Oh, that's cool. What was that? In oh, that's really cool. We <laughs> saw this at a department <laughs> what store. What the heck? It was like a weird combination of like Whoa, Ava you and. Oh, dang, that's super cool. I was like, I told you, Jordan was gonna love it. I was like, Jordan Whoa. would love this. We saw it at a, at a Osaka. That's super cool. At an Osaka uh, department store for more money, and then was he was out. saying, he was saying, oh, this is cool, but it was sold out and it would cost more. What did we find it cheaper on? Like the was it like. Second to the last day. Yeah, it was used in one of those places in Akihabara, just a random yeah, yeah. store. And it was way cheaper, and we we're like, oh shit, good thing you didn't buy it then. Yeah. Well, you couldn't have bought it then. Yeah, come on! But also, they have a huge X rated section just randomly in the front on the second floor. That'd be like if uh, Walmart sold fleshlights. It was real weird. Okay, so this is the last day we found this book off place below. Um, below the, the Yokohama Pokemon store. There's a whole floor and it had a bunch of used stuff and he bought these Slayers card set for super cheap. Oh. But that's our go-to place. So what yeah. we figured out is Matt went three years ago with Jordan, right? And Akihabara was cheaper then. So we think that uh, Japan figured out Akihabara brings a lot of uh, tourists. So they started jacking up the prices. So things weren't as cheap as they were. But in this store below the Yokohama, uh, if you guys can find the Yokohama Pokemon, there's a store the floor right below it. Matt said that's where all the cheap prices were for all the figures. I couldn't really tell the difference, but... Here's the other thing with Akihabara, guys. Is I was talking to the guys outside of... Uh, oh, what is this? Outside of the video? Oh, we bought this at Anime Con. It's a Yu Hakusho collab print about them painting. Nice. Yeah, very cool. But um, the thing about Akihabara is... The best deals you get, like the train set that, that we showed in the other video, the Evangelion train set, uh, first we we saw it at a department store and it was sold out and it was super expensive. I was like, oh, the Ava unit is expensive. It's like 120 bucks in American. I was like, wow, that's a lot. But Matt found the Ava and uh, the Shinji and the Asuka set for way cheaper at a random store. And I found what I was really looking for, which is a uh, figure arts devil man, animated devil man, for super cheap at a random store. So it's weird that Akihabara, the stores that you think will have really great deals and really great stuff, sometimes don't have anything. And the small stores, they look like they have nothing and look like they'll have garbage. That's the cheap stuff. What is this? The Naruto VR thing we did. Oh, yeah. We did a Naruto VR thing. I sucked at it. Where was, where was it? It was in a mall in... It was in the Gundam mall. Oh, it was in Diver City. And there was a VR thing. Uh, Matt and uh, Jordan did a... Uh, Attack on Titan ride in the same location. That's where we, where it was, Jay. Where you guys went last time to Attack on Titan. It was more fun. Uh, basically, uh, you're a random ninja and you can be helped by different uh, ninjas like Boruto and Naruto and and Sakura and Itachi, and you fight uh, Gara's sand form. And you gotta like, you gotta run and jump. And one hand has a Rasengan gun and one hand has a uh, sword, Chidori sword, and you're supposed to like cut and shoot and I sucked at it dude. it was I was so bad Kamen oh, Rider! Figuarts Kamen Rider for like nothing you paid nothing for yeah that. like 20 bucks wow dude I bought a I bought a Kamen Rider 4 Figuarts for 800 yen oh, cool. for like 8 dollars because it had a broken piece on its belt that I just glued back and I was like what? complete okay so this is from um uh what we should have done Universal, Universal Japan. Japan that's the Monster Hunter special popcorn box uh, oh, they had this. the star one for the Mario Land, and it looked like a boring star. But when we went to Mario Land, it was at night when we got in, when, when our passes were, and everybody started turning the the cover and clicking it, and it glows. It just it's it lights up. And by then, we saw how cool it was. Guess what? It sold out. Also, if you go to Universal Japan, just buy all the popcorn buckets because you can sell it on eBay for so much money. What is that? Uh, 
Unit 2? Oh. Uh, revolt deck? That was no money at all either in Akihabara. The other thing about Akihabara, if you guys have never gone, uh, it kind of was illusion shattering. Uh, sake for, uh, what is? Haruhi. Haruhi Suzumiya Sake. I bought it at the uh, Japan Anime 2023. Oh yeah, that's right. What is that? It's a coaster thing. Oh. Put the sake in. Oh, no, that's to drink it out oh, of. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, the wooden box to drink it out of. Yeah. Uh, the thing about Akihabara is, I thought there would be way more vintage stuff. So we went to Madarake's, we went to Akihabara. No joke, there's vintage stuff in those cases. But there, I thought there would be whole stores of vintage. And I had to temper myself because a lot of stuff I like is from the 70s and 80s. And that's 50 to 40 years ago. So of course there's going to be way less stuff. I mean, I definitely bought some cool vintage pieces. But be prepared that if your mind is dreaming of like a giant store that just is selling vintage, vintage stuff, it's not going to happen. And look, check out the small stores. Because check out the small stores because all the small stores had the better deals and stores that look like they don't have anything in them that look like garbage and you're like I don't want to go in this store that, I can't be. that one store that I thought looked the worst had the best so oh. Google Nakano Broadway it's a shopping center in uh, Tokyo and it's 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 like Tokyo's like little uh, little Akihabara and there's a big shopping center that has a bunch of stores in it so on the second floor my favorite store that had the most vintage stuff was this small store about the size of your average living room and it had packed with glass cases and as soon as you enter on the second floor I don't even know what it's called this old uncle runs it and his glass cases full of vintage stuff oh a Kamen Rider skull that he sat on all through Universal Japan but the box is dented for a, for a uh, roller coaster and I told him Matt just sit on your bag and he's like yeah I will and the and the the reinforcement of the Kamen Rider skull figure made him able to sit on his bag and everybody even the Japanese people were like oh so small this stuff is sold out oh this is our cups from the meal yeah cool. so I, I got I did get managed to get a hollow little shot glass thing that was the parfait yeah yeah it's the parfait I got the hamburger the ice cream they had a little soft serve cup of ice cream it was really dope oh you did buy one of the leftover things there yeah seriously though 75 percent of stuff was just X's across the board Oh, that was the coaster from the where we ate, yeah? Yep. Oh, the other thing they had cool was Melon Fanta at their place. And the Melon Fanta was delicious. What's that, from the Pikachu store? Yeah, from the Pokemon Center. Oh, Pokemon Center. Dude, again, the Japanese were going bananas at the Pokemon I Center. I bought this at the Pokemon Center but couldn't fit it, so I opened it. It's, uh, it's a Switch uh, headphones for your... Well, oh. I have a Pikachu... Uh, Edition switch for this oh, actually matches perfect for it. Oh man, why am I yawning? It's Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. Happy Easter, everybody. Hope the uh, Easter Bunny packed you cool toys in your Easter egg. And not oh, and I bought ReZero underwear. Yeah. Oh, was that at the Anime Con? Yeah, it was that at the Anime Con. I bought this Evangelion shirt. I kind of regret buying, but I don't know. It was an exclusive Evangelion shirt. I don't even know if it fits. Is this an XL in Japan? And I'm an XL in America, so it probably doesn't fit. <laughs> Oh, is this one of your watches? Is yeah, it's my uh, Fate. Oh, you bought a, watch. This was his second cheapest watch because it was used at. Uh, was that at Akihabara or that was the Mandarake? Boca? Mandarake. Yeah. I bought it. What is that from? These are the free pins that we got in uh, um, in Japan Anime 2023, and these are the the coast. The, oh, is that the Gashapon where we had to follow them on Instagram? Yeah, we, but these are the acrylics I bought over there. So this I is didn't even know. What is that? It's an Ava drink entry blood looking thing. Oh. That we got. Oh, hey, wait. Drink all of your shirt? Uh, well, or for your booty. Uh -huh. Or is that? mine. Mine's too small and tiny. Is this from the Evangelion store? Yeah, or from, from the. No, it's from. um, It was from that uh, Japan Anime 2023 booth we went to. Dude, I bought so much stuff in that booth. I didn't even see it. I couldn't. It was wall to wall people. It was the small, it was like a small store. You had to stand line to get in. And when you got in, you were body to body with people, dude. It was wild. You had bodies, to fight. Bodies, bodies. And there was like only little sections for each anime that you could buy stuff. So you had to like swim through people to get to each one. That's a Jujutsu Kaisen cup. No, this is the Monster Hunter cup that we got at the... It was super cheap. So we went to Yorobashi Camera, which is this big department store that's in most major Japanese cities. It's a lot of electronics, watches, toys. Uh, but... 
I went to go buy my good friend Kai a watch. He was looking for a limited edition watch in Japan. And I went to like five different stores looking for it. Finally, in Shibuya, they said they had one left. And we, I bought it out of display. And while he was waiting for me, uh, he looked in all the displays and found Naruto watches. And he's like, should I buy it? I'll just buy it. So he bought the Sasuke watch first. And then they were like, oh, surprise. It's 35% it's off or 40% off. It was cheaper than I thought. And I was like, oh, it's so cheap. So I'm going to buy the Sakura watch as well. That's what came with it. Like yeah. The acrylic stand on the and back. He, he's like, should I also buy the Sakura watch? I, do, I was like, dude, it's your money. He's like, well, if I get a girlfriend, I'm going to, we're going to match watches. Because it was like, it was it was it was billed at like three hundred dollars and it ended up being two hundred something dollars. It was like eighty bucks off or something each watch, and we're like, holy shit! But the weird thing about Japan is, at the Yorobashi camera store, like mine was on sale too. The watch I bought my friend, it wasn't on the sign. There was no sign saying that it was less than it was. You only knew it when it, they rung it up. This is uh, a Kono Konosuba beer mug. This thing was at uh, Japan Anime Twenty Twenty Three. I went there Saturday. I went there on Sunday. It's gone. So Good thing I am you so it. glad I bought this, and I am going to use this forever because I I love Kono Subo and I love beer. So yeah, but Aqua. So Yorobashi way. Camera also sets your to watch for you when they sell it to you. They set it to they set it to white time. <laughs> but I mean, like they, there was no like the watch about my friend and the watch Matt bought. They didn't. There's no sign that says it's less money. Oh, here's the five hundred dollar Evangelion watch. I looked in this, this small, the small Evangelion store in Shibuya. So my friend Lloyd, shout out to Lloyd if he ever sees this. He went a couple weeks before us so and he took pictures, and it looked the way he took the pictures. The store looked a lot bigger than it was, but the store was super small. It wasn't even really a store. It was like a area in a big open place. They also had like. So I bought this dog tag and it came with a free Evangelion watch. It also had, Every like, year I'm planning on going to that Japan Anime 2023, so if you want to go with me, you're yeah. more than welcome. And then, uh, just so happens, it, it's all usually around the same e weekend, so that's Cherry Blossom Season 2. So, I mean, it just works out. Alright, well, uh, anything you want to say about this, Jay? No, awesome hauls. Hauls, 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 hauls. Alright, well, what's the name of the channel, Jay? MJRL Hubstuff. What's the name of the Instagram? MJRL Hubstuff. And uh, follow me at Hawaii Toy Box. I sometimes post. I don't know. I've really been messing up recently, but we're gonna we're gonna fix it. I promise. Or not. All right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you later. Go. Go.